before we get started, I just need to remind everybody to like and subscribe to PewDiePie. <laughs> I asked on Instagram what you guys wanted to see from me, what kind of videos. Um, so please, please feel free to suggest anything. I might not do it. Uh, I have my own ideas, believe it or not. Um, <laughs> But I would like I would like to know what you guys want to see from me. Um, anyway, I asked on Instagram what kind of videos people wanted, and someone requested a story time. So I thought I would tell the story of um, the night that um, some fucked up shit happened. So this story begins back in the land of. 2015 2014 picture that year i know i can't i met this girl on tinder i started dating her um she is moroccan this is just this is a little backstory like it's not even relevant <laughs> i mean it's relevant but it doesn't it doesn't matter she only speaks french well she spoke a little bit of english um, but she only wanted me to speak French to her because that's like the language that she's fluent in. Um, and I'm not, I'm, I can speak French, but I'm not like, I don't have the same personality in French, I don't think. Um, I, I sound more like a ditz. Uh, as if I don't already sound like a ditz. Anyway, whatever. She would often like say, I love you. And I, I didn't, I didn't know like if she meant it that way so I, I didn't say it back we were only dating like a month or two so yeah we go out one night and um and i give her this little pin it was like my grandmother's pin actually i really regret giving it to her because it was like like a family kind of heirloom not not really an heirloom but it was like my grandmother's and she died when i was young so everything that is my grandmother's is like precious to me and i always give the precious shit away so people who don't deserve it. Anyway, whatever. Not, I'm not saying she didn't deserve it, but we broke up not long after this night. Like, if maybe a week after. Anyway. Um, so I give her this pin that says Je t'aime on it. So that's French for I love you. And she was like, whoa, like, Je t'aime? Like, that's pretty fast. I'm like, like, you've been saying you love me this whole time. Like, What? And she was like, oh, no, but, like, in English, like, you just say, like, I love you, I love you. But in French, like, that means something. And I'm like, like, how does that make sense? Because in French, you say je t'aime for, like, liking and loving. But in English, we have a fucking differentiation. So you shouldn't be throwing shit around like that. Anyway, whatever, whatever. See, that's where the language barrier came in. I thought she was in love with me, but apparently she wasn't. Um, <laughs> anyway. So we go out this one night, we go to this um, this gay bar and um, my sister meets us there because she wanted to meet her. L Lin Lindsay, let's, let's call her Lindsay. I don't know. Um, so Lindsay is the girl that I'm dating. My sister is Megan. Uh, you met her before, if you've watched my videos before, whatever. Um, so Lindsay is like, <laughs> She's kind of cray cray. She's kind of like, like really outgoing and talks to everybody. I mean, so am I when I'm drunk, but she's like always a little bit over the top. So we like hang out with my sister. We put my sister in a cab and she like force kisses my sister. Like it's really weird, but um, yeah, she's like, oh, let me give you a kiss. Actually, she kind of, well, she went around kissing a lot of people. Uh, that's, that's what I meant by, like, she's, like, outgoing and just, like, kisses everybody. Not, not, like, making out. And I, I, for some reason, I didn't see a problem with it. I don't know. I don't know if it is a problem. Maybe it's a cultural thing. Maybe they do that in Morocco. I don't know. My sister gives her the cheek and she does the old, the old, ooh. No, wait. Oh, no. Lindsay gives my sister the cheek and asks her for a kiss and at the last second she turns and kisses my sister and my sister said she felt violated <laughs> no I don't I don't know um she said it was kind of weird but whatever anyway um so after everything after this bar I don't remember 
Like, I re- okay, I remember we decided to go do karaoke, and I remember, I sort of remember getting to the karaoke place, um, but I don't remember being there. <laughs> um, but apparently we went and did karaoke, and I don't know what happened for me to run away, um, but that is a common theme uh, when I black out drinking so apparently i go and i pass out in uh this corner store convenience store whatever you want to call them in quebec we call them deps depanard uh whatever you get your fucking cigarettes your wine and your loaf of bread whatever you need um those are the essentials you know (laughs) um so i go and i pass out in this dep um, that apparently a crime was just committed at, I don't know what, like probably a robbery or something. I'm just like fucking on the floor. Done. (laughs) I wake up to Lindsay, um, like picking me up and like giving me a kiss and saying, okay, I just want to make sure you're okay, but I have to go. And then we go outside and there's a bunch of police officers surrounding like the entrance um, and no one, no one else is in this depanel. No one else is in this store. Like it's a fucking crime scene, and they didn't get me out. Like apparently she was trying to get in to to get me, and the cops weren't letting her get in. She was like, she was like, I need to get in there. Like my girlfriend's in there. She's passed out, or I don't know if she even knew I was passed out. Um, there maybe there was windows. Maybe everyone could see me just lying on the floor. Who knows? Um, so she's like, my girlfriend's in there. I need to go see her. And they were like, uh, oh, and she got into trouble with the cops a lot. Like she was kind of rowdy and aggressive. So <laughs> finally they said, you can go in, but if you do, we're going to arrest you. Like th- those are your options. You can go in if you want, but we're going to arrest you. So, so she chose to go in and get me and get arrested. <laughs> so, so when we come out. I see all these cops and they're like putting her in handcuffs and I don't even know what's going on yet. Like I didn't know about this interaction. She only told me later. Um, so, so I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Like I, I never have, um, I never really have interactions with the cops (laughs) except for when I'm very much under the influence and I am just, uh, really, really aggressive. Well, not a, mm, I mean, I talk a lot of shit. I never actually heard anybody, <laughs> but I talk a lot of shit. So I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, fuck you. You can't take her. She didn't do anything. And then they were, they were like, oh, just me, me. And they were like, I think they pushed me, actually. I think they pushed me on the ground. Um, and uh, yeah, and I didn't know what to do. And then, um, and then these people walked by i don't know two people i i I think there was two i fucking don't remember but anyway some people walked by and they were like they're like okay we'll get you in a cab like don't worry and i was like i was just crying and freaking out like i didn't i don't know what was happening i'm like my girlfriend's going to jail what what's happening um so yeah they put me in a taxi um, and to tell you the truth, at this point, I didn't remember my address. <laughs> That's a common problem for me also when I get drunk is I don't know where the fuck I live. And, um, so I'm in this taxi and we're on our way to where I think I live. I'm like, oh, I think it's down this street. I think it's down this street. And then I noticed that I don't have any money. And it's a taxi, so apparently, it, I guess they only took cash. Um, I, I wanted to pay with debit, but he said he couldn't or something. And anyway, I was sitting in the front seat next to him. I don't know why I sat in the front. Um, I mean, it's not like it was like an Uber and we're trying to pretend like I'm not in an Uber. But um, I sat in the front seat and we started like bonding over the fact that we're both Italian. Um... But then he was also, he was getting really, like, creepy and handsy, like, 
like wanting to like touch my leg. I don't know. I don't know if he was touching my leg at this point, but that happened. Um, <laughs> cause I said, oh, I don't have any money. Um, can we pull over here and I'll take money out so I can pay you. And he was like, no, no, I'm not, I'm not letting you get out, like, unless you pay me. He's like, but if you don't have cash, like, you can pay me in other ways. And that's when his hands start going up my leg. And I'm just, like, so uncomfortable. And I don't know what to do. And my phone is dead. And my girlfriend's in fucking jail, apparently. So, um, yeah. <laughs> um... I, yeah, I don't know what to do. So somehow I get him to just let me off wherever. I'm like, okay, just let, just let me off. Just let me off. Like I, if you're, if you won't let me, if you won't draw me off at an ATM so I could take out cash to pay you, like just let me the fuck off because I'm not giving you no goodies, not my goodies. So he lets me the fuck off. Um, thank God. Um, but I also, I have no idea where I am. I think it's close to where I live. Um, but I don't know how to get home. Uh, so I just kind of wander around it, this. It's like 4 a.m. I guess at this point, um, without a, a phone, without any money, <coughs> <coughs> fucking crying, just walking around crying, like sobbing. <laughs> and, um, luckily this random van pulls up husband and wife I assume, I assume they're husband and wife. Oh my God, I think this guy's actually Italian too because I remember he gave me his card and it was like uh, for like a an Italian restaurant or something. He was like, if you ever need me again, like here's my card. Um, but yeah, they, they picked me up and they were like, um, like what what's going on? I told them the story and I just said I thank God like you guys are angels. I just need to get home, but I don't even remember where I live. And they're like, "Do you have can you give me like an indication of where you live?" And I was like, "I know that it's next to the botanical gardens, like around the top of it." And we were actually like a block away from my place. So, I mean, they didn't do much. I probably would have found home eventually if I had recognized it. Maybe I wouldn't have even recognized my house. <laughs> but, yeah, so, um, that's the story of, uh, my girlfriend going to jail and me getting molested by a taxi driver. I did actually go and report, um, the, uh grossness uh with the taxi driver but i didn't know like his license plate or his name or anything so i just tried to give the best description that i could and hopefully that man is not a taxi driver anymore but anyway so my girlfriend only ended up spending one night in jail and she was out the next day and uh she was i mean she was pretty pissed <laughs> like um oh Wait, I feel like I didn't have my keys and I had to go to my neighbor's place. I don't even know how that plays into the story. Because my mom's last name is Vieille, which means come in French. <laughs> and I just think that's funny. Uh, so, so she texted my mom saying thanks for taking care of my girlfriend. But I wasn't even with my mom that night because she thought that my friend, my neighbor had that name. So she thought she was talking to my neighbor. So anyway, <laughs> apparently, oh yeah, she said, she said thanks for taking care of my girlfriend, Lori Cum. <laughs> um, she's like, what? Um, so, Anyway, that girl broke up with me for being bad luck. <laughs> Which, you know, I understand. Um, I was I was pretty fucked up back then and got into some shit. She went to jail for me, so I mean So that's the story. I hope I didn't forget anything. I hope I told it. I remember my old outro. Who who remembers? Who remembers? Bang you later. Okay.